Welcome back to my playthrough. Today we are gonna do Coast 3. Coast 3 is right over here. Do you guys remember the ship that was blocking this entrance in the first part that we then um, freed by collecting a bunch of stars? Well, now we can use it to find Coast 3. We can also go in the cave, but that is Coast 4 and we will do them in order. First star, Labor and the Lighthouse. Um, this is already the climbing mission in this level. As you know, I usually don't like climbing missions much, and especially this one is kind of... Uh, it doesn't really have much, it's just this thing rotating in the middle. Uh, I feel like I should have put a different mission here. can get up there like that, but I don't want to risk falling down now. A lot of people had problems with this mission. Um, it's a rather precise to jump on that, and if you don't know Mario 64 controls that well, uh, you can fall down easily. But I luckily don't have a problem with that, so it doesn't matter to me. Explore the shell. Oh yeah, we have to go diving here. It's one cool thing I want to show you on the way there. Right here in the ocean. You see that thing? It's a drain stopper, stopping the water in the ocean from draining. I don't know where I got that idea, but I thought something like that fits really well into the Mario universe because it's so childish to think that it works like a bath tube. These crabs right here, they can only hit you if you swim left or right of them, so I just swim above them and they can't do anything to me. And you just have to go in a circle and you will be at the star eventually. You can run out of air pretty easily here. But if you reach the coins you will usually make it because the coins heal you up. They don't refill your air though, like they do in the original 64. This cutscene is also kinda awkward because it always teleports Mario to the middle of the ship. Um, back when I started out making this ROM hack, I was a lot worse at programming stuff than I am now, so nowadays I would do it differently. Move to the mountain top. Uh, this mission has a pretty silly glitch where you can just walk through the wall if you do it correctly. But I don't wanna do this, I wanna do it properly. You see these uh, vessels, I don't know what exactly they are called. However, they are inflammable and then they will explode. So that's what we are gonna do. We need the fire flower. If we touch water with the fire flower or take damage, we will lose the fire flower. So we will have to take the boat over there. You guys remember the mission for Mario Sunshine, where you had to do something similar to this with Yoshi? Kinda reminds me of that. But I honestly didn't think of that while making this mission. If I had thought of that, I probably would have used a different mission, because I really hated the Yoshi boat mission in Mario Sunshine. So frustrating because when you tried to go fast in that mission it was really hard and you kept falling down and I kept trying to go fast and I kept falling down and like I spent an hour or so on that. And you always had to wait so long on that mission. Ah, I got so mad. However, right here you only have to do one jump so I don't get mad at it. Even though waiting is kinda annoying. Coreries red coins. Yeah, the red coin mission is already mission four in here. By the way, the music in this level, it's one of my favorite musics in the game. Uh, this is actually an original composition made by JJS064 or something. I'm not exactly sure how he spells his username. It's really soothing, I find. Uh, usually I would get the 100 coins in this level together with the fire flowers thing because there are so many coins over there. But since I've already done that and I want to do missions in order for my playthrough right here, I'll have to just make up a route this time. Because the last time I already had a route in mind. But, oh, don't fall. Thanks. If you collect the fire flower and go in here, um, you will lose the fire flower because power-ups don't transition through zones. 
which is why I didn't pick it up right away. You can actually do pretty evil things in here. You see that Koopa? Talk to him. He's just enjoying, just enjoying his stay. Nothing bad in mind, he doesn't even want to raise us. Uh. But Mario... Ruined his vacation. Alright. 17 more coins, then I can go over to the coral reef, collect the red coins. And that's it. Two more. Should be five around here. Some people were saying the experience crashes around this coral reef. So I hope the same thing doesn't happen to me. <laughs> because that would be really stupid, I would have to start recording all over again. I actually had to record this part like two or three times because I failed something in the recording. Like, one time I accidentally didn't record my voice and then I didn't record the game audio and it was all the huge. It was really annoying. That's why this part took so long for me to upload. Because all the failing, failed recordings kinda took away my motivation. <laughs> There's actually one glitch you can do if you collect a coin and then collect a star underwater. Um, it will refill your air. See, my air is currently empty and then collect the star. I'm, I'm not dying by the fish, do I? Okay. <laughs> and right now my health is back, uh, my air is back up. Because um, there are a few stars in this game that you collect underwater. And usually your air would only refill as soon as you touch the water surface. That's why I made it so that collecting a star refills your air. Because I didn't think about star that are spawned from coins. So that glitch exists. To dry out ocean. Oh no, someone removed the drain stopper. And his vacation is ruined. He's shaking his head. He's desperate. But we are fixing the problem. Once again, we are Mario. Sometimes we are good. And we are not busy killing Cubas with fire flowers. The crabs kinda annoy you during this mission, but as long as you try to not get hit by them, it's really not that difficult. The only problem might be finding the hole for the drain stopper, but since the water is so low, you can kinda tell that the drain stopper is in this area, because everywhere else there's water, and the drain stopper obviously has to be out of water. Uh, I mean the hole for the drain stopper, otherwise this whole thing wouldn't make sense. And that's 21 more star to go. Alright, there's one cool thing I didn't even show you guys yet. That star shadow. Projected from that star. I think that's such a cool effect. Fun fact, when I made that star shadow, uh, it's actually separate from the star, but I made that. I accidentally made it so that it turns around left ways instead of right ways, which all stars in the original Mario 64 do. And then I just decided that now all stars would turn to the left instead of the right in the entire game. I don't know if anyone's noticed that yet. But yeah, the stars turn in the opposite direction than in the original game. So for this we just blow up our blimp which is this balloon, jump on the blimp, and we can control where it goes by standing on the rim. It's kind of a puzzle star. You can actually also tell that it's not a real shadow if you stand in the light, it doesn't protect the shadow. But if you collect the star, the shadow goes away. At least it does that. And that's it, we've got all the stars in this level already. See you guys next part.